Hello, my name is Matthew Krupsek. I am a computer scientist from Atlanta, Georgia, and today I'm sharing a progress update for version 0.12 of Open Athena for Android. Open Athena for Android is some free and open source software which allows consumer and professional drones to spot precise locations on Earth with the assistance of a digital elevation model which stores the altitude of terrain. New in this version is a greatly improved user interface and user experience, as well as a selectable target output mode, which allows for alternative coordinate systems to be used. So you'll see immediately in this version, a lot of things have changed with the user interface. Um, now the user is prompt, given a prompt, including steps for successful operation of the software to ca calculate a target location. So right away, I can click the mountain button to load a digital elevation model stored as a GeoTIFF TIF file, which stores the altitude of terrain for a given portion of the Earth. And these are easily obtainable from opentopography.org. And so if I select a TIFF image, this loading bar will show up, which is also new. And then once it's finished loading, it will display this text saying the size of the GeoTIFF digital elevation model and the area that it covers. And now once it's loaded, this button becomes available with the little picture frame on it. And if I click that, I can select an image taken by a drone, such as this one here. And then it loads that into the program. And so I can see here, this image was taken by a DJI Mavic 2. Um, it's pointed downwards, and in the center of the picture is a public park in Atlanta. And so now that the elevation model, which stores the altitude of terrain, and the drone image, which in its metadata contains its location, orientation, and the downward pitch of the camera, if I hit this little button here on the right that just became available to Abacus, it will instantly perform a raycast from the drone's location towards the terrain as represented by that digital elevation model. And it instantly calculates a target location for whatever is in the center of the picture frame. In this case, it's that public park just off of the corner of that little green hut building. And there's a clickable clickable Google Maps link, which immediately appears. So I can either click here to just copy the text to my clipboard, or I can click on the link, and it will take me immediately to that location on the ground. So new in version 0.12 is also a selectable target uh, coordinate system. Um, and that can be done while the app is running, just by hitting this little button and going to the settings menu. And then we'll see a radio list of buttons is available for selecting our output mode. And um, say we're actually like doing this for like a military setting or something like that, we could select the NATO military grid reference system uh, with a 10 meter uh, grid square size. And then I go back to the Calculate screen. Um, I don't have to reload anything. I can just hit the Calculate button again. And now it provides it as a military, NATO military grid ref. Um, some of the other output modes include uh, the Sistema Coordinat, um, which is an alternative geodetic system and grid reference used by Slavic and former Warsaw Pact countries. Um, and so... If I want output in that format, I can just click one of these buttons, go back to calculate, and then click the calculate button again. So yeah, um, all of this is available for free and open source at openathena.com. Um, anyways, I hope you find this interesting. Um, if you are interested in the development of this project, I am currently looking for translators um, for multiple languages. Uh, because really having a native speaker for a language is the only way to make a user interface in that language um, that is easy to use and makes sense for its users. Um, 
Well, anyways, thank you for watching.